Hi Libra, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your general monthly tarot reading for the month of July 2021. Thank you so much for joining me and I do want to remind you of course uh, to like this video. Do leave me a comment about your individual situation and uh, of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I do want to say right off the bat when getting into your energy, uh, I felt very upbeat and energized but then started to get very frustrated when things didn't go perfectly as planned. Um, something to keep in mind as we trickle on with the reading uh, as well as the month. But when meditating on your lovely Libra energy overall for the month, the message that came through was a goal-oriented survivor. A goal-oriented survivor. And so we're going to begin by doing some shuffling so we can pull uh, six tarot cards for the month. A simple six card spread if you will. To begin for our lovely Libras for the month of July 2021. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Libra? Beginning with one. Keep them coming for our Libras. For Libra. And I do want to remind you for whatever reason in this specific reading that I'm a Leo Libra Libra. And although it's not my sun sign, uh, Libra takes two placements within my chart. So um, I, I feel you guys. I, I bond with you guys or I simply uh, understand you, okay? So keep a comment on that note for our lovely Libras for July, of course. And now I'm beginning to understand why the frustration is coming to be. Okay. See, we have all of the first half and we're going to keep shuffling for our lovely leavers of course the second half of july and we have all three interesting all righty interesting energy and at the bottom of the deck we have the two of swords if there's an underlying focus on you needing a better understanding of your future. You feeling like at times spirit and universe can easily give you some clarification or certain answers that you need to feel more confident about what lies ahead. And spirit saying it's not the right time or simply you need to build or dig for that confidence within uh, without needing, without having all of the blanks filled in, right? You feeling like you have to have it all figured out in order to proceed or simply needing the comfort of uh, clarification. You'll find a way as you move forward in the month to accept that you won't have it all figured out as you move forward. To understand everything right now would um, confuse you or strip away the mystery of how things are meant to unravel. So we're beginning the month in the spread with the Fool. I'm hearing as you go with the flow, try to let it go. Uh, there's a feeling that at the beginning of July, Libras out there are pushed to simply go with the flow, accepting that certain clarifications aren't coming in, at least at this point, and to allow yourself to breathe and slow it down, uh, simplify things for yourself as you uh, need to, not just want to, but need to just let certain frustrations uh, leave your life. Getting a better grasp on your future will happen over time gradually, uh, and, but you at times feeling like it has to happen now, right? And that feeling starts to seep into other areas of your life uh, in an unhealthy way. So to look at oneself in the mirror to begin the month and do a bit of reflecting and uh, ask yourself why that's happening. I'm hearing you can do this, and so there's a feeling that as you make your way through this part of the month as well, um, certain people around you or maybe even your spirit guides are cheering you on. Um, I feel like your spirit guides go from a bit frustrated to uh, simply being your, what feels like cheerleaders on the sidelines. Uh, you knowing yourself best at this point 
find a way to calm down or simplify things. Uh, make your way to, or continue to make your way to the completion of the goals that are most important to you at this time. And as we make our way to the second card, we have the Ten of Wands. And I'm hearing too much for one person. Feels like you have too many obligations on your plate or simply too much to accomplish moving forward. But Spirit's saying at times, Libra, it's feeling more hefty or more uh, unreasonable because of the emotional or just the stress that you add on top of it all, right? Um, at times, you bringing frustrations or difficulties from your past experiences and piling it on top once again uh, to make it 10 times more difficult for you to do what you need to do. And on top of all, once again, at times you still want to understand your future more so, uh, just stressing over this and that. I need to take a step back and gain a new perspective. I'm seeing the hanged man or woman in my mind's eye, uh, forcing oneself to see things in a different light. If need be, Libra, you need to take one or two things off your beautiful Libra plate and accept that you're only human. walking towards all you deserve in a confident manner, but doing so in a reasonable way, allowing yourself to understand that you, uh, at times producing quality over quantity, or simply being realistic once again, in order to feel better along the way. And now I'm hearing how to accomplish what I need to in a more productive manner. But we're making our way to the third card where we have the Five of Wands. I'm hearing your state of mind stresses you out. This is truly represent, representing, excuse me, how you're feeling mentally as I space out and can barely uh, grasp what spirit's trying to communicate with me. And so at this point in the month, as you make your way to wrap up the first half, ask yourself why that is right for a lot of you it has to do with the amount you're trying to accomplish or simply you stressing over what happened or what has yet to come to be you reminding yourself throughout all of which uh, that you're a survivor that you've been through so many ups and downs and stresses and you've overcome so many small obstacles along the way but you've come out stronger and wiser because of it all. But you seem to forget that at times, right? And so if need be, spirit and the universe will come through and remind you of just that. Don't allow yourself to continue to implement certain unhealthy habits as you, as spirit or certain individuals around you will blatantly point them out to you so that you can tweak them or just throw them out the window altogether. And there's part of you that might feel a bit stubborn or pretend as if you don't see these habits as a part of your situation because it's hard for you at times to be honest with yourself and spirit says we get it but it's time to let that go it's time to move forward and realize that you've learned from what you've been through right so let's utilize that knowledge that wisdom and move towards a healthier version of you a healthier version of Libra. Given it, as you make your way to the end of this first half, it, your mental state enters, makes you feel a bit emotional or just overwhelmed altogether. And I'm hearing, how come this has to be so difficult? <clears throat> you can hear me get a little bit choked up and I almost didn't expect this from a Libra reading, but it just reminds us that you at times put on a bit of a facade to appear to those around you uh, a bit stronger or um, just simply feeling the need to be there for others and doing just what we were speaking upon, appearing stronger than you feel at times. Don't question yourself as you move forward or as you make certain adjustments and improvements, realizing that you're still evolving 
you're still becoming who you're meant to be in this lifetime, all right? And Spirit will remind you as well at this point that uh, whatever you need to do, even if it feels difficult to improve oneself, will help it help you or simply make it easier for you to accomplish the goals you need to. And out of respect for yourself, why wouldn't you do just that? The Two of Pentacles as we move right along to the fourth card. After exiting what feels like a very emotional part of the month, you begin the second half feeling like you have a lot of options to weigh out or simply feeling like you're still uh, going through a juggling act. And I'm hearing times to be honest. Uh, this, it feels like if you hadn't begun a reflecting part of the month, it starts now. You needing to, as you juggle this and that, or simply weigh out certain options, looking at oneself in the mirror saying, who am I? Who am I becoming? Uh, and how is my future going to feel as I step into it? Knowing at the end of the day that as a Libra you're meant for so much more than you've experienced, or you're simply destined to become a greater version of oneself. Uh, uh, coming to certain conclusions at this point in the month to begin the second half that you didn't expect to come to, and spirit is behind the scenes or right next to you being like, see? And at the beginning of the month, being aligned with the full card, when you're being pushed to sort of go with the flow and accept that things will come to be as they're meant to, you didn't need the answers right then and there, did you? Uh, and reminding you that as you let go of a little bit of control and accept that things will fall into place as they're meant to, you come to the conclusions uh, just simply at a different part in the month, literally cutting the month in half, the second half, that's when you come to certain conclusions. Not expecting to understand it all right then and there, but realizing and remembering or being reminded if need be that all of which will happen and unravel as it's meant to once again. It feels like you at this point will think back to certain dramas or difficulties that happened over the recent past and Spirit saying, well then if you realize who or what added to that level of drama or difficulty up until this point, let's make adjustments moving forward and ask ourselves important questions uh, in order to make our future that much less stressful, right? Because I do feel the need to point out the expression here, which is very serious or simply frustrated once again. I need to, at this point in the month, figure out how to uplift yourself or simply to have more fun, realizing that part of who you are is enjoying yourself, even if you forgot about that along the way. I need to implement certain healthy habits or um, enjoying something that makes helps you enjoy the process along the way, however that pertains to you. The Nine of Swords. As you make your way to the middle of the second half of the month, I'm hearing dreams take place. Um, and I believe spirit means that in a literal sense. You either getting serious downloads from spirit as you um, enter a sleep state of being, or simply you struggling to sleep in general. Uh, I'm seeing somebody, which happens to me often, it, you have a dream and then you're woken up by spirit in order to grasp what the dream was, in order to accept the message that was being given. Spirit saying this is a true spiritual connection and you should be proud of just that. It's also at this part in the month where a lot of Libras will find it just truly difficult to fall asleep in general. And spirit's like, oh, well, Libra, we need to communicate with you this way or you need your beauty rest in order to move forward in a healthy manner. Being in line with the Ten of Wands, it's a reminder that your workload or what you need to accomplish isn't all that's leaving you stressed or depleted at times. You know, if you can't simplify your mind to the point of falling asleep, then how do you expect yourself to move forward in a productive manner, right? 
really human and you need your rest. The implementing certain healthy habits, once again, like uh, potentially meditation, which helps me often to move forward uh, with more rest uh, or simply feeling more rested. As you can see, when I entered this card uh, or this part of the month, I started to speak quicker and faster and it was hard for me to stop to even absorb uh, what I was saying or what spirit was trying to communicate. It's up to you to figure out what's going to work for you as you try to sleep more or simply absorb the dreams, the messages that spirit is trying to communicate with you. Moving on to the last and final card, we have the star. To finish up the second half of the month and the month in general, I'm hearing you have to heal in order to move forward. Uh, a reminder comes through, it's not a multiple, it's a one big reminder that comes through that you're a star in the making, that you're meant to achieve so much more once again than you have achieved so far. But a need to once again heal from those past experiences, those difficulties, in order to make your way to that stardom or that fulfillment that you desire at this time. And some are Libras out there are thinking, well, I don't want to be a star. I just want to achieve what I want to and feel good about it. And Spirit's saying, well, then that's acceptable. You do you, Libra. You know, you achieving to survive in the midst of achieving your goals is admirable. And you shouldn't feel less because of it all. Allow yourself to finish off the month on a positive, beautiful note, feeling strong because of all you've overcome once again, and feel good about whatever you want to accomplish, how minimal it is, or even if you want to reach for the stars. Being aligned with the Five of Wands. It's to finish off the month where you are reminded as well that you have to simplify your mind in all the chaos that happens upstairs at times. You needing to find healthy habits to implement moving forward to prevent yourself from having to heal more so in the future. Uh, knowing deep down that the healing is continuing or just beginning and it's not an overnight process that will be wrapped up with a bow by the end of July, but simply wanting to or needing to, again, do implement more healthy habits in order to not add more healing, uh, necessary healing onto your plate. You are, again, one strong individual who deserves all of the success, the success, excuse me, that lies before you. But make it easier for yourself along the way and uh, do what's necessary, my friend. All right. So on that note, Libra, I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.